Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Cordless mini blinds from Home Depot. Uh, this is made. I think this one's light filtering. That's what it says right there. So it lets a little bit of light through. Uh, not terribly expensive. Uh, not at all, actually. All the rest of them were easy to get into. Now I got somebody videos. Not easy to get into at all. You'd think I'd be really good at opening packages, and therefore, everybody else is opening packages. Maybe they're better at it. Maybe they do. Somebody's opening this up on Christmas Eve. I wonder how many people get injured. Open in their package. Get a paper cut. Oh, better go to the hospital. Anyway, this is a 33 by 64. Definitely the hardest one I had to put in. Now, you got one side that has the hook that turns it. That's the side needs to be out. You see right here? That needs to be out. I'm going to make these instructions way simpler for you than reading them that they give you. Okay. I'm going to measure this just to make sure. 32 and a half. Thirty and a half, so we go an inch on this side of this frame. Right there. Right there. Can you give you this paper thing that you're supposed to put on the corner of the window if you're putting it inside? But I just put it on the edge of the window. Where you can mark the window like so. Then you open this package. Pretty sure I can get into this package. These things are kind of unique. It has a hook. It doesn't look like a hook, but it is a hook. You, you're going to end up hooking your uh, right. curtain box on that. And you're going to hook that on and then spin it into this and then clip in. So that's your top if you're putting on the outside. So they give you these screws in the package. And they usually give you one extra. So now I've got like four extra because I haven't lost any. Okay, again, that hook toward the top. And the screw fell off. Good is idea it, to put anchors in. But is it important to make sure that it's like that? <laughs> yes, it has to be like that. We learned. I learned with the hook at the top. And you'll see why here in just a second. Then the hole is right there. Now we're going to turn. You notice this 
has a little bit of a hook inside here. And that is what goes up on top. You got turned, and you're going to spin it under. It literally snaps in that easy. Now, there's no cord. That's where the cordless is. I use cordless screw guns. This is a cordless blind. You know, like that. I like that. It's like a two-hand type of thing. Ta-da! Now, the bigger ones are a little bit different because it has a third bracket. Is that easy that one? shortages. Uh, and then the middle one. You would think that'd be exactly in the middle. Turns out that is not a good idea. It ends up falling out right where the center cord that suspends it all is. So you want to go to one side or the other and not be dead in the center. All right. Uh. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.